2013, I returned to Romania from studying politics in France. And I resumed my political consultancy work. I was soon consumed by frustration. Romanian politics hadn't changed, but I had. I could no longer tolerate the dirty hands politics, the old idea that serving the greater good somehow justified immoral practices. Some of my political clients did not need a political consultant. What they needed was a lawyer. <laughs> others needed a reality check. And still others needed to take a profound look in the mirror. After weeks of unease, I quit my job and I start to look for jobs abroad. But then it struck me that I was equating success to getting out of Romania. I was about to become one of the tens of thousands of young Romanian professionals who leave the country to find better opportunities. I struggled with this idea for months. My struggle continues even now as I try to decide whether to pursue career opportunities in Romania or to start my PhD in Canada. I feel suspended between home and abroad. How can I make the most positive social change? By immersing myself in other cultures or by returning and fighting for a new way of doing politics in Romania? But Romania is my home. I love my country deeply. When I compare myself to those the system failed. I want to give back. I know the hardships of my childhood friends, those born in the rural areas of Romania. I know that with more educational opportunities, their future could have been totally different. 50 years ago, the social elevator was still working. Today it is stuck at the ground floor with no clear prospects of starting up again. But why should I care? There are winners and losers. Life is unfair. Maybe I should acknowledge the lost potential of some and just move forward with my life. I am ashamed that in moments of doubt, I am visited by this kind of thoughts. However, I realize that I'm privileged. The mere fact that I am free to have these thoughts is because of my access to educational opportunities. This is why I want to return to Romania to apply my good education. For many, through the help of people like myself, the small step of educational access could mean the first step on the social ladder. Today, 75% of Romanians born in rural areas are not going to high school. 98% are not even thinking about going to college. Our system is failing and we have to acknowledge this. It is failing both those in need of help, like my childhood friends. It is also failing those who have so much more to contribute, like myself and tens of thousands of young Romanian professionals. But let's not focus on who is to blame. Let's build bridges between those less and better educated, between those living inside the country and those living abroad. This is how a unique coalition for real change will become possible. This is how a country can use its diversity <clears throat> of life paths and experiences to come together and thrive. This is the Romania that I would never 
consider living. I, I often ask myself, how can I help really transform my unjust and unequal country? How can I remain engaged with my roots? Well, this, this, this are not only my questions. And this, are not, this is not only my story. This is not only the struggle of tens of thousands of young Romanian professionals. As my survey year comes to an end, I have learned that many non-Canadian fellows are confronted with this dilemma, going home or staying abroad. In a time when extreme right-wing politicians equate immigration with low-skilled jobs, we are the other side of the coin. Our diplomas, our language skills, our multicultural outlook make us perfect migrants. However, brain brain and immigration are an existential threat to developing countries. For those in doubt about staying or remaining, I ask one thing. Before reaching a conclusion, consider assembling this coalition for change. We cannot abandon our countries, even if we decide to live abroad. If we manage to overcome our fears and we win our own battles, we can then redirect our energies into joining others' crusades. Collectively, we have an immense transformative potential. We can act, unite for our enlightened selves. We have so much more to do for so many. Thank you.